Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Large God Tree tutorial. And I will be showing you how to make my wonderful God Trees today, just like the ones you see right here. So, uh, you're going to need Voxel for this. Uh, you can use World Edit, but I don't know how to use World Edit like that. And all this reading and stuff, I still haven't really learned that. It's been a really long time. <laughs> so, you're going to need narrow, gunpowder, and voxel berms, I guess, on the server. So, technically, you don't need voxel. You could make this by hand. It would just take a hell of a lot longer. <laughs> Alright. So, let me go to my open space here. Alright. To get started, obviously, like I already said, you're going to need arrow and gunpowder. And we're going to do slash B, space B, for ball, obviously. Alright, and then slash B, space 17, oh sorry, sorry, slash V, space 17, which would be the voxel material, which is logs. Let's see, maybe. And then slash B. Let's go with size, brush size of 7. Yeah. Alright, so once we have all that plugged in, we can start to engage. Okay, now we can click, and there we go, we have our ball. So this will be the trunk, and we're going to just start to build it up. Definitely don't want it to go straight up, it doesn't necessarily have to curve around and stuff. For the sake of this, I'm going to make it curve around because usually when you make it curve, it's easier to mold it and stuff and keep it to that. So, here's our curve. I'm going to make those ones just a little bit longer than I usually do. And there we go. So, there's the start of the trunk. It's pretty simple, it's not very hard. Alright, and now we're going to put down the brush size to about four for the bigger branches, so yeah, that'll be good enough for it. So now we just click about there, we're going to do about three on the top here, and then maybe one lower branch over here. And now we're just going to bring these out, and curve them, and give them some nice natural looking curves. And there we go. Now we got that. Let's make the next ones. So I'm probably going to have to stop this video and um, continue it for some parts of this tree because some parts of a god tree do take a really, really long time. So for this branch, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit and back up. Just like that nice curve. Alright, and then this last branch over here, let's just step over here. And you don't want these big branches colliding too much, so just make sure they're all going out in different directions. And I think this big branch, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger down here, and then I'm going to bring this out into the middle here. So we have a big branch going in the middle. So that the whole tree doesn't just go outward or upward. Because you never want that to happen. Never want, I've said this in the other two video tree videos. If you're going to make you know, any branches on a tree, you want them to go every direction, not just upward or just outward. Because that'll end up looking kind of weird in the end. Alright, so once we have our branches, you know, smaller branches, pretty much uh, how we want to look, and then we're going to do slash B, B, B. Now this is a brush that you need to be careful with because if you use too much of it, it shows. So if I just hold this down, it'll start to make this little pattern thing going on here. And it won't look very good. See how this has a pattern? This little lip here. Oops, let me change my speed to the one. Okay, there we go. So this little pattern going on here is a no-go for a tree. Trees don't have patterns. Alright, so let me undo that. Let's do 20. Okay. 
So, yeah, I did a lot there. All right. Well, that's okay. So this goes so this allow me to show you this. So if you use the gunpowder with this, it'll add on. So if you accidentally do it too much, you can just add on something and then start to click around a little bit. So now, you're just going to go over the tree, hold down the left or the right uh, click, and just smooth it out so that it looks natural and doesn't have all these little, like, large conjugals. <laughs> so, I know World Edit, if you use World Edit, um, the smoothing agents on World Edit aren't as um, precise, I guess I would say. They're not as good. They don't work as well. Um, okay, here's something. That, see this little, this is what I like to call a stair step. It doesn't, that also doesn't look good. So if this happens, you just kind of hit it a couple times, and then you go back over. And there you go, it's gone. So, once we go over that, this whole thing, there's another stair step. So now we're going to go back, and we're going to go on to the smaller branches, like the big branches, I guess. And go up, and once we get to the end, I'm going to smooth it down so that the end is almost gone. Don't worry, you're going to fix it in a little bit. So. And right, I don't want that to happen either. This little flat part here doesn't get very natural. Okay, so smack that in and then smooth it out again. All right. So there you go. There's that. Okay, now this branch. This part usually takes a little bit of time. I think I might put this video into two parts now that I'm doing it. I think I'll do the actual tree part here and then I'll do another video for the uh, smaller branches and well, the medium sized branches and the smaller branches because this takes a really long time. So if you guys really want to make a tree as a god tree like I do then it does take patience. A lots and lots of patience. <laughs> I know the uh, medium-sized tree that I made, uh, that one took, what, 20 minutes? And that one already felt tedious. But this one, God trees usually take me about an hour, two hours tops, I guess. Uh, they used to take me a lot longer than that, but I've gotten really uh, proficient, I guess, at it. Um, so if this happens, this little lo weird lump thing going on here, don't worry about it, you will be fixing it. You're gonna have to do a lot of things by hand, so don't rely on this brush too, too much. It's only there to help you not do the, all the work for you. I, it, it ends up looking really, really weird if you got if you use this brush too much. All right, sorry about that, um, if I knocked on the door. And yeah, all right. So yeah, if you use this brush too much, it, it doesn't look good. Because obviously, once you get down to smaller parts of the branch, it will end up looking kind of like that instead of doing it doing what you want it to. So, as you can notice, I'm, with all these branches, I'm trying to make it have like this natural curve on it, not too much of a awkward bends. Pretty much what you want with every branch, you don't want it to just awkwardly bend like in half. And look not natural at all. That's, that's too much. Alright. So once we have all that, almost done smoothing out most of these branches here. As you can tell, this does take a really long time. <laughs> So especially the more branches you have, the bigger the tree, the more branches you are going to have. You don't necessarily have to do a tree this size, you can do it bigger. And you can do it even a little bit smaller. Um, and there we go. So once we have the general shape of all the branches and stuff here, it's smoothed out pretty well. This part's way too flat. 
and we can start to uh, pick a tree and do some more uh, branches. So a very common thing that I see is people will do this part of the tree and then they'll just go and put leaves on it. And that ends up looking really, really horrible, at least in my opinion. Um, that is definitely not the way to do it. <laughs> you at least have to make medium-sized branches before you put leaves on for it to look like a decent tree. But when people do this, it looks really, really horrible. And a uh, really common thing I see is when people make this, make the tree and they'll just leave the spheres there and they'll just make smaller spheres and then they'll put leaves on it with the small spheres. And then it just looks like a bunch of spheres that in the shape of a tree, unsmooth and it, it, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so I'm gonna these stairs steps here. If you have some stair step things here going on, it's okay, especially down near the bottom. It's not gonna matter as much because uh, we're gonna be adding roots or if you are going to be adding roots, then that won't matter as much. But when you get up like to these branches and like the top of the trunk, it ends up looking really, really bad. So Alright, so there we go. Let's get rid of the little one. Alright, so if it does that and it has like a little chunk there, don't worry about it, just leave it. It'll be fine. Alright, let's get that one. Make this one just a little bit thinner up at the top. Get rid of that. Alright. So once we have it generally smoothed out, looking how we how it should, we're going to start making the medium-sized branches. So for that, we're going to need to get the logs. We're only going to get to explore them. So I dropped things a lot. End up hitting Q on accident. Alright. So this so this part takes probably the longest, making the medium-sized branches and the small branches, because I like to make lots and lots of branches, because it ends up making the tree look a heck of a lot better. And if you make enough branches, then you can use the tree as double, and uh, it'll look, you can use it as a dead tree or a living tree. So I don't know if it's a tree, but it is a plant. <laughs> Alright, so these medium sized branches, you're just going to build out a line where you want the branch to go. Just like you did for, or just like you would for the medium sized tree, or the small sized tree, except the small one's not as precise. So, and then you're just going to go back and fill it in. Make it a little bit larger. And if it still isn't big enough, like down where the big branches, you just go back again and fill it in more. And if it still isn't big enough, then you repeat it again. <laughs> and you just keep repeating this until it looks like a decent sized branch. And then once you get towards the end of the branch, you can start to make it a lot smaller. These branches get smaller as they go up. So there you go, now it turns into a twig there. Alright. So we have one branch. So I use that branch coming off the end of this. You can also start to make branches coming off the just random parts of the big branches. So let's do one right here. Get this into this. And then I'm probably going to pause this video after I make a couple of these uh, medium-sized branches for you guys. And then make all the rest of the medium-sized branches. And then We'll continue the video to these small branches. So this is probably going to be either a really long video or I'm going to split into two parts. I haven't decided yet. So we got a while to go for this tree. I might split it into two parts for the small branches actually. Alright. That branch, it's uh, a little bit flat right there. And we gotta make sure we blend it to the branch so it doesn't look like it's just randomly coming off the branch. Okay, and see, you know, this part here, this little chunk thing, we can just 
use it or completely get rid of it and build our own branch. Move it down a little bit, back up. So you don't necessarily have to curve the branches this much. Not all trees have curvy, curvy branches like this, but I like to do it because it ends up looking a lot nicer when the branches are curved. All right, now we're gonna go back and fill it in again. Down here. And if you want the curve to stay as a nice looking curve, whenever you go to an up curve, you build on the top, and then as you get to a down curve, you build lower, and then it keeps its curve. So, that's that. And then same thing goes for if you curve it, let's say you curve a branch outward this way and then you curve it back, you're going to want to build, oops, just a bunch. If you're going to fill in the branch, you go into it, you go, you build on the outside, and then when you go back to this part, you build on the inside and then it keeps its curve. So instead of trying to build on the inside and then staying on the inside, it would get rid of its curve. All right, well, that looks really horrible, so let's get rid of that. It's just for explaining purposes. All right, I don't like this branch being here. All right, so I think this, after I finish this branch, maybe one more, I'm gonna pause the video and finish the rest of the medium-sized branches. I think I'm going to do about three or four branches coming off of every big branch. So, all right, I'll do one more here for you guys, and then I'll pause it and finish the rest for you. And then we'll come back, and I think I will do this in two parts, so the second part will be for the small branches. Um, if you guys like this video, then by all means, don't forget to like it, thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you really like my videos. That will show me that if you want me to make more. And uh, if you want me to make a specific either god tree or medium sized tree tutorial, or just you want to see me make a, like a let's build, or like any kind of organic, any kind of organic tutorial then leave me a comment and I will see what I can do. Uh, I think that would be all the branches I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back and we'll do the rest of, all, the, rest of the branches, medium sized branches will be here. Alright, see you.